How's it going guys? Welcome back to Pathway. Everything you've seen up until this point was actually recorded the day this game came out. I, I went crazy and did a blitz of recording so I was having so much fun. Now I'm coming back just like a day or two later. There has been some updates to the game, very minor stuff, bug fixes, things like that, but it also went along with a statement from the developers that they're just super dedicated to updating this game and making it the best possible experience. So that's always very encouraging to see. Maybe small little things will be noticeably different from here to there. But I also just kind of wanted to bring it up because uh, people have been giving suggestions and like tips and tricks and things like that. And just know that by the nature of how I've been kind of blitz recording this game, uh, there's going to be some serious lag between a suggestion of how to improve my gameplay versus actually seeing it implemented. So I apologize for that if that drives you crazy that you notice something in like episode 3 that I don't address again until episode 7 or 8 or whatever and that's just kind of how it's going to have to happen. But I'll do my best to improve along the way. The Armenian Mountains. You breathe a sigh of relief as you finally leave the merciless heat of the Syrian desert behind you. The awe-inspiring mountains of the Armenian highlands rise before you. Legend has it that Noah landed somewhere here with his ark as the waters of the Great Flood receded. But what is the connection with the wrath of God? We're in the last stretch of the three-part second adventure. I think then parts four, no, sorry, three and five are two very large segments, and part four is once again three segments. So that's just to give you guys a sense of how much game is left here. We got a ways to play through. And for the foreseeable little bit ahead of us here, I'm going to attempt to keep the daily videos going. Maybe until I finish the game, so it might be like a solid month of this game or whatever. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but that's my intention. Hopefully I can keep that up. Instinctively, you look up, but the mountain peaks around you do not reveal their secrets. You take another long break before you set off on the last leg of your journey. Health, armor, replenished, and revive. We got a couple of level ups here. So we got three level threes and a level two. Oh, and Natalia is crazy close to leveling up. So they must level up independently. Like the fact that I've gotten her so many kills and like every time she heals out in the field and everything, she must be earning her own independent, uh, earning her own independent experience there. S people have pointed out, why am I not making use of my like needles and threads and stuff to repair armor? Because I thought that you needed a character with the repair kit skill, it sounds like that's only true if you're in battle. So like, uh, the Baron here can't use it, but Bellamy can, in battle, but any character can use it, which makes sense. Like I was using bandages and stuff outside of battle when I didn't have the skill before Natalia joined the team. But when you do have someone like Natalia on the team, she can have like her bonuses and stuff like that. So yeah, that's, an, that's one of the major things that people have been pointing out that I've been doing very poorly. And hopefully I'll be able to work on that moving forward. Ooh, an improvement to the light armor would be huge. 12 accuracy is pretty big. Knife crit, I'm less worried about. Crit, I'm less worried about. Accuracy would be huge. His armor actually just sucks, though. I kind of wonder if he can take another armor upgrade really late. The range and damage... I would probably be more likely to increase range or damage down the line, even though that is stronger. And I could always improve his dexterity down the line to improve accuracy. So for now, I am going to take the armor. That's the first time I've looked ahead to really plan a, a level up route. And this guy, it's his first thing. So either his reflexes or his endurance. His reef, they're both not great. His agility is terrible. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the better reflexes to hopefully avoid devastating at attack potentials. Wow, that's a useless triangle. I do have a lot of fuel though. Oh, a new recruit option. Is there only one on this? This is a very large map, it seems like. There's only the one stop for it. It seems not worth it, unless one of these characters were to die on this little journey, but I'm not really planning on that happening, you know? If I go this way, there's a couple bottlenecks where I'm going to be forced into these big battles. 
I could technically go this way without ever taking on a direct battle marker. Although I think you do always kind of have to do a battle for this. That is the shortest possible route. It's a very short route, actually, if I go this way. So this is not great for leveling up your characters and stuff, but for efficiency, I might try it. Somewhere in the desert, you see a huge cloud of dust slowly moving towards you. Confused, you come to a stop and soon realize that a large convoy of trucks is heading your way. It must be the Germans. You hastily take cover in a nearby depression. Hopefully the surrounding dunes will hide you from the soldiers. The noise of the engines gets louder. After what seems like an eternity, the engine noise slowly fades into the distance and you breathe a sigh of relief. The Germans didn't spot you. That's probably thanks to Bellamy's car enthusiasm. I doubt it had a role whatsoever, but... <laughs> for So he feels better about himself. We can say that that's the case. Inside a lonely desert temple, a series of labyrinthine corridors finally lead you to a larger chamber where you find an ancient altar with some dusty offerings. Seems like some undead nonsense. No, I got away with just some cash and some goodies. Petroleum, which, uh, it says three... Okay, I wasn't sure if it converted into extra fuel through his car enthusiast as you collected it. I think it's on the initial finding, so it was a 3 instead of a 1 or 2 or what have you. 170! It is a sacrificial bowl, it's not just like a standard cereal or spaghetti bowl or whatever, so I guess it's worth slightly more. Who knew? Who knew uh, a bowl meant for putting in bits and bobs of human beings in would be worth so much? You'd think it would lessen the value. In the distance, you see what looks like an old temple structure. You stop to investigate and realize the entrance caved in a long time ago. That was the extent of that? That was very simple. Hmm. Do I branch off? Because, like, I can take two stops here, or I can do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm just a short ways away. Like, I can really sprint to the end here. Or I can try and hit up like a shop or something, right? And try and try and deal in some of these goods, maybe get better gear and such. Let's try it out. I'll take the slightly longer way, the road less traveled. A village in the desert, as you approach, you hear the shouting of an angry crowd. A furious mob is gathered in front of one of the houses. You make out the village chief and speak with him. What's going on here? The people have caught a con artist in the act and now they want blood. You assess the situation? Isn't that... Omar? He also recognizes you and waves frantically. I'm trying to remember which one Omar was in the list of characters. It's all just a misunderstanding. Get me out of here. Don't have what it takes to threaten. I don't really want to pay cash. I already have a full team that I feel pretty good about. I think I'm abandoning him. And that was the simplest recruit thing we've ever come across. We've had to fight for the other two. You spot a small troop of German soldiers who've set up camp here. They do not seem to have noticed you. It's a small camp. I'm in a fire. I'm trying to rake in extra supplies and stuff so that I can hopefully have money to spend in that shop or that village or whatever it's going to be and hopefully upgrade my characters. Oh, this is the first time I think I've seen a dog one and two side by side like this. It's they Their coloring differences are very slight. It's much more apparent in... Most of the other, um, like the shock troopers and the Nazi troopers and things like that. Everyone's kind of crowded around this corner down here, so I'm, I'm mostly going to stick people up around this side. So first, I want to see what I can get away with with the sniper. Ooh, I did not set him up particularly well, did I? How far can you run? Half cover there. I'm not sure how worth it that would be, actually. Can anyone get an attack off anywhere useful? I don't think I stuck anyone where they can actually do an attack, which was uh, a bit of a mistake. I could queue Jackson up, like, here, maybe. Let me see if there's anywhere useful I could run the sniper off to. That's not bad. Yeah, let's try this out first. This will be my first placement, because that should open up something. See, it doesn't even show that that's in the attack range, but it says 100%. There was something a little off there. I don't exactly know how that didn't line up in the, the movement range map or whatever, but sure, I'll take it. 
This seems like possibly, yeah, I thought there was a chance it might still be a little bit off. In that case, I'm going to take the low profile. I kind of wish I was using the, like, the Overwatch type skill right now. Uh, I think I'm just going to let it play out and let everyone reposition themselves because this dog is a little too protected at the moment. He ended up having to go a much longer way than I realized. Maybe the dogs aren't as good at jumping? No, they're just extra high walls, it seems like. Ooh, I think that guy might be a level 2 as well. Oh, nice. I didn't see if that was a miss or an evade. But either way, I'm, I'm happy with how that went. 100%, 57, 57. What about your opportunity? 100% there. I'd say you are probably best taking the shot. Yeah. That went well. And otherwise you guys are in no real position. Maybe I can set you up in a little bit more of a useful vantage point and advance these guys kind of to where he was just a second ago. Still 57 on either count. I mean, it, oh, I don't know if it's a better strategy to take out the weaker ones first or not. But I was kind of playing around with possibilities there. Man, I wish uh, trees and stuff counted as real proper cover. Because currently they do not. Damn, I definitely should have used ambush. Do you know what, dude? In this case, I want you to hunker down again. I do. I really want to see if they in some way set themselves up with worse positioning if I just kind of leave them to do their thing. Yeah, take the low profile. It's fine. There's no shame there. You can... Oh, it's... If I moved, I could get the shot. Hmm. You only have one remaining bravery. I don't... I don't think I want to spend it just yet in case I can do something a little more useful. Ooh, I hope I didn't leave the Baron in, in like, way, way too vulnerable of a, of a position. I think that was very lucky that he got away scot-free there. That sh probably shouldn't have gone as well as it did. <sighs> Half covers, maybe the best I'm gonna get and still, like, and still have a shot. Yeah, it's not a great bit of positioning, but I think I'm gonna risk it. Yes! Oh, perfect. Perfect. And, Doctor, you're taking this back again? Oh, 53. Something had to give there. That was... I was getting borderline too lucky with that. I'm trying to see. If I go up here, I can still have a shot off at him. Alright, I'll just focus on taking him down. Because this guy's going to have to move forward to get a shot. Yeah, and he can only really approach from the one side. 57, I'm risking it. Well done, team. That's what I wanted to see. And I'm going to move Natalia forwards. But I'm not really putting her in an offensive position. Like, she'll be set up well for the next turn, presumably. Hmm, not the approach I expected him to take. Shit. That dude 22? That was a pretty big hit, actually. Oh, damn it, dude. I didn't realize that I, um... Had left you completely out of ammo. You really do need a bigger magazine. He brings it up all the time, and I keep ignoring him. He's... He's made a, a big deal out of it for, like, the whole time I've known him, and I just keep not dealing with it. We got three people with moves left. I'm running in for the stabbings. <laughs> Let's get some high percentage shots in here. Although, yeah, I was worried. I was worried it was going to start dropping off to like 50 as quickly as it did there. I may have gotten a little bit lucky there because both him and Natalia probably at best were going to be in that 50 range, which is kind of is getting a little dicey. And through this, a monocle and a better monocle. <laughs> Not great, but whatever. Cash is kind of what I'm uh, looking for. Ammo! I didn't realize I was so low on ammo. Oh no. And now we've just gone into another battle. Shoot. As you explore the ancient temple you discovered amongst the desert dunes, you run straight into a detachment of soldiers. They are just as surprised as you are. Oh, immediate battle. 
I am actually gonna have to count bullets here. If it doesn't say anywhere on the screen, I'm not entirely certain. It, it doesn't. It actually doesn't. Uh, eight bullets is not a lot to go around. And these are like all level twos. The sniper is a level one. I can try and sniper him. But otherwise, I am like entirely gonna be counting bullets here. This is not a great s setup. I kind of need everyone to come storm the front here. Oh, I meant to place the Baron there. Did I? No, shit, I think that's Jackson. Oh, okay, well, Baron, I don't want to leave you totally exposed. Can I undo? I don't even think that I can. I'm very sorry, everyone, for the terrible placement that I've just put upon all of you. Come on, man. 100% oh he's one shy are you kidding me at least he can flee at least he can run out of there that's seven I got seven bullets left this feels like that scene in Deadpool you know <laughs> where he, he, he like had to start counting his shots because he knew he was his magazine was running out uh, yet yeah, just cover that area I realize it'll probably also cost a bullet but I kind of want things to sneak in down to six. Uh, everything just needs to get lured in close now for like uh, personal knife kills. And I don't, not every character, I think only Baron and Jackson actually have knives. So that's not even like the most reliable thing. 100% again, I think I have to that's what uh, that's with the germ or with the sniper though and really he's not that strong 77 oh I think I'm better off weakening this guy take the reload five shots to go again not gonna cut it I think I need I think I'm gonna move everyone that I can in a slightly more protected positions like the the Baron his name might be Baron I always call him the Baron he seems a little exposed and obviously everyone's at risk with the dog running in like that but these the sh shooters can basically only shoot at the Baron currently oh shit it is two snipers too so that's not great for me shit uh, his knife isn't that great. I'm not very confident that he can get those easy knife kills. Whereas, Jackson should be able to. He has to take out one of these guys. Look out, enemy ahead. Yeah, we're well aware, man. I'm assuming it's the same as my setup, where the sniper can go from long distances and stuff, but maybe he's not actually that strong. So I kind of was trying to bank on that a little bit. I need to get you somewhere safer, even though you have the knife. And... I think this puts it down to four bullets. You can punch. You're not going to be able to punch the dog enough though both of you can punch it's not gonna be strong enough but if you both punched the dog you'd both be pretty exposed I think it only does 10 damage it was even worse than I thought it must depend on like specific stats and stuff Honestly, if everyone is exposed though, it sets me up just the TNC is a bit better man I hope they don't the dog might run at the Baron, but I don't think anyone else will go for him. <sighs> I'm either at five or four bullets now. I kind of started to lose track the tiniest bit. Oh, I wasn't expecting... He is a sniper. Oh, a crappy sniper. I should have realized these guys were going to run as far as they possibly could. Damn it. The dog didn't actually move, which is super peculiar. I still can't actually kill it this turn I don't think come on guys you gotta buck up a little bit here with these lame ass punches I can run in the Baron for a knife kill there that's that's probably what I'll end up doing 
Jackson, buddy. <laughs> You're going full commando mode here, though. I really, really need you to, to fulfill this role currently. Because no one else really is going to have what it takes. Uh, I'm willing to move Natalia a bit further up. You can have a low profile. And Baron... I don't want him to get shot at twice. I might have to spend one more bullet here, even though it's for the world's lamest kill. No, I don't think that's worth it. Because who knows if I have to take on another battle. And it's only a 77% chance. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to have to take on another battle in, like, a, a moment's time. I'm going to do a, an Overwatch deterrent, though. Because the computers seem to take that pretty seriously. Presumably he won't use that dog this turn. Jackson, dude, I gotta get you out of there. But at the same time, you have to stay. <laughs> I desperately, desperately need you to stay. Oh, man, he can't heal himself or anything. 40. You're gonna go for the bleed. Get the bleed. Oh, that's good. He's set then. I'm set. Uh, Natalia, who needs healing the most? Well, I guess technically Jackson, just based on where... No, he, he mostly is short on armor. It's actually the Baron that needs true healing more than anyone else. So I'll just make sure I have that taken care of, I think. I'll move you up, but as far as I understand this, this guy's gonna bleed on this turn and I'll be fine. Not great. Bleed kill five enemies to unlock Brunhilda. Cool. Yeah, reload those weapons after all those shots you fired. Shot accuracy 100% because I didn't F around. There was maybe like one or two times where I, I took a riskier bet, but not really. No ammo. No ammo. Collect $5,000. Reward $500. Dope. I'll take it. I'm all over that. Oh, maybe, maybe it didn't, um, what will we do when you run out of ammo? Good question. It's something I don't want to think terribly hard about, because we're not in a great situation. Oh yeah, it did count it. That, I did collect that. Well, hopefully we can buy ammo here, because if not, I don't know what we're going to do. Nice, Natalia leveled up. Village ahead, we can get, oh, medium ammo boxes. Perfect. Sell. Sell all this. Do not need it. Sell this sh crappy looking knife while we're at it. Fuel, I'm not going to worry about. Bandages could probably help. Uh, it's too bad there's not better weapons or armor or anything to be bought right now. But, uh, oh, I maxed out ammo. 60 is the max ammo. I'm sitting there wondering why the hell it wasn't working. All right, well, th in that case, buy the bandages too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Neither of those are rare or exciting or seemingly worthwhile, so I'm, I'm abandoning that. Natalia, I want you to switch back to the bandages simply because then I guarantee that you're going into a battle with three of them. A disintegrator gun basics. Oh, you could start using a disintegrator gun. Honestly, you've been tearing it up with the pistol. I'm not worried about that at all. Can equip heavy armors. Yeah, I'll boost you up to heavy armors. Because then you should be able to take on this one. Which is like a huge step up. Can I keep it? It's all yours. You earned that shit. How about you? You're still in light. This is medium. You can take medium though. Oh, but what you have is better. Damn, I really need armor repair. I need like a rest or something. Oh, God. Good thing we got ammo, even though nothing else is looking that hot. You spot a group of soldiers by the temple ahead of you. They have not noticed you yet. The, the, ba, ba, you throw yourselves on the ground. You suddenly hear a shrill whistle. The guards have spotted you. Damn it. The soldiers grab their weapons and scramble for cover. This one looks like it was a bit uh, beefier of a battalion, too. Only six to worry about. Kind of concentrated... Weird, this guy specifically is like weirdly up close. 
sniper lingering in the back. So if I can, I'll try and set the Baron up somewhere around here is maybe the best bet. It looks like there's a lot of... Oh, no, no, no. You can't go down here at all. There's like kind of these pinch points here that you would have to navigate. So yeah, I don't know if you can shoot across that. Somewhere around here would be good for the Baron. You guys can chill up here. Baron there. Oh, lots of high walls. Lots of high walls to work with there. He is a two, so he's a little bit more protected. A dog one, a dog two. So I can't take out that other sniper, but at the very least I can take an early notch out of their team there. I'll think about whether or not I want to do more with him. Nicely done. Let's just take these initial shots while we can. Yeah, that's a worthwhile move. 73? Oh, come on, man. You're going to miss on a 73? I'm... I'm putting some faith in you here, Natalia. You do have your big-ass armor right now. Oh, she's such a beaut. Kill 20 enemies with a pistol. I... Hmm. I don't remember exactly... What is her pistol? Mine might be slightly better. Uh, we'll have to compare that when the, when the round is over, but... I might keep what I what I've got yes okay this is perfect placement for you I'm gonna keep that for sure mm, I don't think I need to worry about a reload so instead I'm just gonna worry about like some slight advancement for you guys excellent excellent first turn there we still haven't seen what the last two remaining like unrevealed enemies are gonna be that dog had a shorter path to me than I realized. Oh, are they going to be able to go up and around uh, 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 up there somewhere? Oh, shit. Jackson is not in good shape right now. 33. Yeah, you got me worried there, dude. 16. Come on. You got to do more than that. Natalia, I need you to run... Run in and heal. It's too dangerous currently. Yeah. Med kit back to full health. That's a relief. I think he got the message. So cruel. So very, very cruel. I... That's decent cover. That's decent enough cover for now that I think... I'll keep a low profile on that. And maybe I'll move Bellamy up this way, because there's clearly guys advancing from this side. Who did you see? Who did you just uh, uncover? Oh, another sniper who you possibly... He can't shoot you now, but he's for sure going to get in closer for the shot. You take a reload. Almost forgot to do that. It's seemingly quite important right now. You might as well, as well. Perfect. I feel okay about this. What is what is that? What what is the next enemy going to end up being? Oh, nice evade. I think I should run Jackson in. Shit, there's like no cover. You just have to run in in the open. So first things first, what can you make happen here, Baron? Get a crit or something. Why don't you? No luck. Alright, Jackson. I'm super, super exposing you here. But I'm hoping that's a direct line of sight. 47 still only? Oh, that is such bogus shit. I need, I need better odds than that. Oh, make the 40 happen. There was the crit I was looking for, too. Hmm. Again, nowhere really with good enough cover for me to feel confident about it. Uh, I'll stick you somewhere where you seem less exposed. We can figure that out in the next turn. I don't really, I don't really understand what this guy is doing. There he is. He finally opened himself up. It's a Nazi trooper too. Oh, big hit. These level 2 enemies wig me out when you don't have the armor to defend yourself anymore. Like, it's it's too much. It's not worth you staying exposed. 
we just have to move everyone else out into this particular area, I think. God damn you. Reload. If we start kind of sneaking everyone back over. Once again, Natalie. Natalia, sorry. Uh, I, I feel like I'm thinking of Black Widow or something because she's been so versatile and effective. <laughs> I, I'm relying on her so, so much, you know. Uh, I'm going to take the reloads now while the opportunity's there. Maybe I can... Well, the, the Nazi trooper's going to have to get in a lot closer. So he just opened himself up for some serious knife action. But I'm a little wigged out by this guy, right? Because he... Oh. Alright, well that's fine. I just... At least I know you're not going to attack from where you are. So then I feel okay. I can just shoot from here. I'll take the shot first before going in for the knife. Nice. So now next time, I'm in a much better position to run in for some knifings. Uh, I'm not a fan of how exposed you are. That seems... Oh shit, you can get a shot from there? Oh, that would have been too perfect. That would have been absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that's a decent cover. Yeah, I, I figured that wouldn't be close enough. That's fine. That's fine. The sniper might still take the shot on Bellamy there, which I'm, I'm mildly concerned. Oh, nope. But now half my team is, like, not in good shape. Son of a bitch. Jackson... He... you're gonna have to take... you're gonna have to go for a bleed... a bleed and stab. Because it does something like seven damage or... or more... I'm hoping it's enough. That's not... a... S viable sniper position? <sighs> Do you know what? I... I'll... I'll position him... and... Oh, that's still not enough. Just barely. Are you kidding me? And I'll, I'll run Natalia in for the heal. He's kind of uh, at too great of risk right now. Man, I, I need you to be like a, a very effective like stealth operative here. I'm putting you at really high risk. Oh, you're kidding me. Low profile it is then. Because <laughs> if you can't get the shot to get the kill in there, I ain't risking it. Oh, right. Oh, I completely forgot he was going to bleed out anyways. What are you going to do about it? What's your plan here? Honestly, that's that sucks to take out that much of my armor. But Natalia is in a better position than, than anyone, essentially. Do you know what? Let's get the Baron some experience. I, I kind of... I know Bellamy is lagging behind, but I don't really know where everyone is overall relative to one another. So what I I'll, I'll I'll go for that, I guess. Hopefully we got some good stuff out of that. Ooh, a rare, a brand new monocle, more painkillers, grenades, which I'm not too worried about and just fuel, fuel for days, never going to worry about fuel again. But you guys are wigging me out. Okay. Talia, you is on Bellamy. And we really, really, at some point, could use some extra armor repairing. Everyone's got a decent amount of health. But it's not enough for me to be, like, crazy comfortable in where we're at. All of a sudden, that stretch, now that it keeps being fights everywhere I go, that little five-step stretch or whatever seems so damn far away. As you stretch your legs during a short break. Do you know what? Who knows what's coming up in this next little bit. I thought I could bang it out in like 45 minutes. I was going to squeeze it into one episode. But it's it's stretching out a little longer than I expected. And I'm, I'm, I have some growing concerns. So I'm going to hang on to it for a second here. We'll pick up right here next time tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again very soon.